In this video, we are going to discuss about VLANs and the ports which are available on the VLAN so that from switch to switch which port is enabled and to switch to PC which port is enabled here. You see VLAN is a group of devices on one or more VLANs. You see that you can configure one or more VLANs on a LAN and also it is a group of devices on one or more LANs that are configured to communicate as if they were attached to a single wire here. That means you see a group of devices on a single LAN or a different LANs also here as if they communicate in such a way that they are connected to, to a single wire here when in fact they are located on a number of different LAN segments. So they are already located on different LAN segments but it looks like they are in the same LAN segment as well as they are in the connected to a physical connection. But you see because VLANs are based on logical connections instead of physical connections they are extremely flexible that means as I, as I, as I said that they are they work in such a way that they are connected to a single wire and also exist on the same LAN segment. But here it is a logical connection rather than a physical connection so that it is very flexible to configure. So that links to switches are known as trunk ports that means switch to switch link in between we call it as trunk port and to the end devices like PCs are known as an access port. So on port which is an access port the untagged VLAN is called as access VLAN. So what is access VLAN? Access VLAN is an untagged VLAN on the access port here and also on a port which is a trunk port the untagged VLAN is called as a native VLAN. So what is a native VLAN? Native VLAN is an untagged VLAN on a trunk port here. So coming to here trunk port is used to connect between switches and access port is used to connect between laptop printers etc. And also you can extend the data from one switch to another switch by using access ports through trunk ports. So by connecting trunk ports through access ports we can access the data of the, from one switch to another switch and it can only extend through access ports of a switch so that it only can extend to another switch through the access ports of a switch here. You see an example here that we have two switches so we have VLAN 50 configured on switch 1 with the name domain given as computers and exit and also you can see VLAN 50 is configured on switch 2 with the name computers again so that again you have to enter into the switch 1 and configure the interface mode for FA0 slash 1 here. So switch port access mode enabled on VLAN 50 for interface 1 and also interface 2 switch port access VLAN 50 is enabled that means the switch 1 and switch 2 will be having access to the VLAN 50 here. So you can take a better example that how it how we communicate in an enterprise environment you see this diagram you see a Cisco router here so that it is connected to fast ethernet through the switches and the switches are connected with the, the interfaces of the switches are connected with the PCs of different departments and you see that these are these are located in different floors here. So that this, this segment of engineering is, is in a single VLAN and this segment of marketing is a single VLAN and accounting a single VLAN because this is a single VLAN this computer, this server and this computer can communicate with each other so that they can access the information of their department but not the other departments and this is the, done through access ports to access the data and also the switch to switch connection is established by the trunk ports. And this is about the VLANs and the ports on it. We will be discussing about the access mode or access port in the next video.